learn the advantages and disadvantages of entrepreneurship from lesson 2. So this is lesson 2 already. In this lesson, you will be able to determine um, the advantages and disadvantages of being self-employed or an entrepreneur and identify successful entrepreneurs or self-employed persons in the community as potential role models or mentors. Let's try this activity. Are you excited? I'm sure you are. Now, imagine yourself in a conference with a successful entrepreneur. What are some questions that you would like to ask? Mm -hmm. I know you have a good question in mind. Alright, now let's learn about the pros and the cons of managing business. Are you ready? Let's start. Many people venture into entrepreneurship because of its advantages. You get to be your own boss, uh, you own your time, and most importantly, you get to decide what kind of business you will do. Being an entrepreneur seems like the perfect option for those who do not want to be caged in the corporate world. However, this does not mean that entrepreneurship is that all fun and games. There are also disadvantages in handling your own business. While it may be great being your own boss and having no one to keep on ordering you, ordering you around, you have to realize that you are on your own in this venture. Hence, all the tasks that are usually delegated to many people in other businesses will become your tasks and you will have to handle all of them unless you have a partner or someone who is willing to share your task with. If you are great at multitasking, this challenge is not going to be a problem for you. You cannot use this to harness your skill and become a better multitasker. But if you're doing many things at once, it's not your talent. You might find this quite challenging. The first few months can be difficult for you. But as they say, practice makes perfect. So you may eventually learn to cope with this issue. This is where self-discipline enters the picture. For you to handle all your uh, tasks well, you need to set goals and stick to a schedule that works best for you and your business. The good thing here is that since you work for yourself, you have the liberty to decide what to do with your schedule. The downside is that not everything is going to be flexible for you. You will have to follow the schedule that you made and observe the rules that you have created for your business. Just because you made them yourself does not mean that you can change them anytime you want. Setting rules and limitations does not only mean that you cannot be creative in your business anymore. You can always adjust how you handle things until you find a perfect life and work balance. However, there are still things that you need to keep in check for your business to run smoothly. Like everything else. There will be hardships and troubles along the way, but you can always look at, the, at these challenges as an opportunity to make yourself a better entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. 